so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we are discussing one of the best open source ai coding agent like claude code that is open code as you can see on my screen on github it is trending on number one for this week and it has got about 72k stars yes my friends that's real so it's, it's quite popular among devs now right now and it looks quite a killer of a coding agent when i even tried it out the open source AI coding agent as you can see on my screen the other team has also given the installation instructions how to use it and they even have a desktop application too so if you click here as you can see open code download open code available in beta for Mac OS Windows and Linux I have already downloaded it it looks to be a killer of an AI agent and can even close out with Claude code too so let's test it out let's see the magic of open code and the best part is it provides a lot of free models without paying you so it's completely free completely open sourced so as you can see on my screen i have just opened out open code i need to open a project let me navigate to one of the projects that i'm working on this is resume builder it is a streamlit application you can ask anything here you can change the model to GPT-5 Nano, Big Pickle, GLM 4.7, Minimax, M2.1, all are free for you. You can also try out other providers also with your API and even Olama as well for local models too. Here's a build op option also, build slash plan. You can do multiple things here, add image and whatnot. So I've added my project here. Now let me ask it a few basic questions. What is the tech stack of this particular project? Let me hit enter. Considering next steps, as you can see, it is taking its own time. The UI is quite sleek. As you can see, it doesn't confuses me at all. And it is taking its own good time to run through the codes and get me a final answer as well. Soon you would be seeing that it would be able to answer correctly. I was just trying it out and it was looking quite good to me. That is, I'm presenting it to you as well so when you have an open source option like this why to pay for models like lord code build minimax 2.1 default you can search also not much options here project tech stack inquiry tech stack discussion i've already done it is considering next steps it will take its own time to go through the report it has multiple files so let's wait while it operates on its own pace. Now here you can see that I have got the answer gathering context. It is outputting multiple things. It is thinking right now. It is mentioning that I don't find a file. Fine. It is reading through different files, requirements.txt, streamlit.app.py, back and front end. It is processing every single thing, which is quite interesting to me. And here's a text stack that I is giving streamlit, Python, NumPy, Pandas, PySpark, TensorFlow, Langchain, Generative AutoML, and whatnot, which is absolutely correct. Now, this is how I got some information. Let me try to write something. Add a migration script to generate such a front end using JavaScript. Let's see what it does here because this would be a little complicated. It is now thinking again. I can see the thought process here. I will create a migration script Python or Node.js that converts the data and it has started writing. You can see it's it's quite sleek it's not taking much input from the user also and it is writing the different files for me i won't be running this but i just want to show you the sleekness of the particular open source project which is quite good it has gained up to 72k stars providing with free llms what else you need to develop things my friends this is running on right now it doesn't require any gpus also so you can just install the application and get started with your first project Whatever you wish to build, I think open code would be able to do that. This might take some time because this is a complicated ask that we have done. Now let me create a migration script and the react components. It is writing everything. So not just reading, it can also go and write codes for you. 
first AI coding agent, which is quite popular and open source as well. It is writing the migration script to writing all the scripts, React components that mirror the streamlit functionality. This is quite amazing. I think that in terms of speed also, it's quite fast, quite sleek, and it is not letting me wait for a very long time. As you can see, nothing has been cut out of this video. So it is running smoothly. As we have begun, I think in the first minute when it was loading the project for the first question, it took some time, but after that, I think it's on some speed. I think within one and a half minutes, it is able to write more of the code. As I can see, I can read what it is writing. Let me create the main app component and other React components too. Very interesting application, and I think and very straight away competitor for Cloud Code. While everyone is praising Cloud Code, the only catch is it is paid. It requires you to pay, but here nothing is paid, and I think that is why it is gaining some popularity on GitHub also. So do try out this particular AI agent. By the time it is migrating my streamlit application into JavaScript very interesting to see let me create continue creating the remaining component it has created a number of files as i can see let me see whether it is able to write anything or not resume builder migration as you can see here it has created a new folder and inside the source all the files are getting created this is very interesting i would say friends and worth trying out let me continue with the remaining components. It is still writing a lot because the application is quite complex. The streamlined application that I've written some years back is very complex, has a lot of sections. And that is why I think it is taking some time. It would have been easier. I think it would have been done in quite a short time. So I think as you can see, it is also able to create files too. Let me stop it here. If you see here, these are all the files that it is able to generate by the time. So it has got a lot of capabilities for sure. The operation was aborted. Now, my streamer application on deployment is throwing some errors. Can you figure it out? Let me try out the final thing. And before we wrap this up, so I think till now my experience I have been using it for quite short some time now I can see it, it has a great potential and you don't need to use any GPUs no APIs no LLMs no money involved so what are you waiting for do try it out straight away but yes it requires a default code uh, repo to get started you can use a empty folder too I don't think so that's an issue but yeah I, the best part I liked about this particular AI agent is the UI it's very sleek as I can see identified issues and fixes as you can see it is able to mention everything no error handling is there all this stuff so yes as you can see it is making edits now if you read which is very interesting as it is an agent it's not a, just an LLM outputting outputs it is also executing stuff for me so I just need to prompt and yeah I think programming might be in some danger in the coming years if not in danger, I think you're getting heavily assisted by AI. Right now, if you can see, I wrote this application some years back. Don't remember anything about Streamlit, but I would be now able to clean it up easily. It is editing the requirements.txt to writing a Docker file for me and whatnot. And this is all happening for free. As you can see. So I think before we end this up, let me it is still working as i can see making edits making a lot of edits as i can see it will take some time so i'm stopping it here now i edited a lot of things in my file so looks quite cool i would suggest you to try it out but uh, it's not better i think it's a great competitor for cloud code so that is for free so do try it out open code looks good this is not a paid promotion i really liked it and hence i am sharing it with you thank you so much i hope you like this tutorial